the uh, starting with the Sunday games, uh, the Titans at the Jaguars. This line open up Titans minus seven and a half. It's still seven and a half. So uh, who do you like here? Yeah, I like the Jaguars here for maybe one or two units. Uh, I, I think that the Jaguars are playing pretty well um, on offense, at least. Uh, Mike Lennon's doing a, a good enough job. You know, they've gone through three different quarterbacks and none of them have been terrible. I know Jake Luton's had some struggles. He threw a ton of interceptions against the Steelers, but what do you expect from a sixth round rookie? Um, so I, I think the Jaguars have done well on the offensive side of the ball and the Titans defense. They're just not very good. I mean, we saw them get shredded by the Browns last week for 41 points and, you know, they tightened up in the second half, but the Browns kind of took their foot off the gas a little bit too. uh, because they had such a big lead. And even though they kind of let Tennessee within six points, the game never felt like it was in danger at any point. So um, I, I think that that uh, second half defensive performance, there's a little bit of a mirage. So I, I think that they're going to do the classic thing. The Titans have done a lot this season. They're going to move the ball a lot on offense, but their defense is going to be inconsistent. They're going to give up some big plays. They're going to give up some sustained drives. Um, and I think that the Jaguars will use James Robinson to kind of, you know, keep the ball in their hands a bit, uh, lead some scoring drives. And if Mike Lennon doesn't turn the ball over, it uh, should turn out well for them. I think that the Titans getting seven and, or the Jaguars getting seven and a half points is just a little too high for me. I think the possibility of a backdoor cover is huge. Uh, and the Jags have actually, they would have covered this spread in five of their last eight games against the Titans. And earlier in the season, they scored 30 points on the Titans and uh, covered a sp covered the spread in that game and lost by three points. So they would have covered this spread too. So I, I just think the spread's off. Uh, so I'm going to be on the Jaguars here. I'm not going to bet heavily on the Jaguars, but I think it's I think it's a good spot to uh, to fade the Titans because I think they're a little bit worse than people think they are. Yeah, I think so too. I think they're one of the more overrated teams in the NFL, and like they they they've gotten a lot of acclaim for beating the Ravens and then the Colts. Uh, but if you look at those teams, like the Ravens aren't as good as people think they are either. And then the Colts were so banged up uh, that you know it's kind of an easy win for them. Uh, and they had just lost to the Colts a couple weeks earlier anyway. Uh, and I, I think that was more indicative of how these teams play. I agree. I think the slide's too high. I made it uh, Titans minus four and a half. So you know we're getting the key numbers of six and seven, which is you know. It's really important. Um, and I, I think even if if this is a, a big lead, I think the Jaguars should be able to get the backdoor cover. Uh, Tennessee's defense is so bad. Uh, they've been allowing 31.3 points per game over the last four games. Um, they have no pass rush. Uh, they have multiple injuries in the secondary. Uh, it just seems like the Jaguars with the receiving talent should be able to mount a comeback if they need it. But they may not even need it because they've been playing close games uh, since week six. Uh, actually, week seven, uh, they've only lost by more than 10 points once. And that was a Jake Luton going against the Steelers. And uh, the Tennessee Titans don't have the Steelers defense. So um, I, I, I like the Jaguars here quite a bit. I, I'm, I think I'm going to bet uh, around three units on them. Jaguars, maybe they're the new uh, new version of the Los Angeles Chargers. They, they just lose uh, games by uh, single digits all the time. So. You know, makes life easier for us when trying to figure out the spread, especially against teams like the Titans, who I agree with you, totally overrated. Yeah, well, except the Chargers have their quarterback of the future, but you know, the Jaguar, the Jaguars, you know, if they're they're not careful, they're going to lose out on Justin Fields, so they better not win these games. But hopefully, they can lose by a, a single score here. That, that'd be nice. Um, 